So earlier we discussed what are the things that you can do with the help of Apex, but now it's time to understand what are some things that will not be able to do with Apex. It cannot show elements in UI other than error message. So it's a very important thing. If you want to showcase anything into the UI, uh, basically the user interface, you need to use again the point and click tools which are available or visual force or lightning. It cannot be like any, any, no UI element can be created or can be shown with the help of Apex other than the error message. So Apex uh, lies onto the controller part of the MVC architecture. Uh, it doesn't lie onto the yeah, view part. Uh, view part is completely separate. So A Apex cannot be used in order to create any UI element. That is something that you need to be really, really clear about. Next thing. It cannot change the standard SFDC functionality, but can be used to stop its execution or to add a new functionality. And it's a very, very important topic, that important thing that you need to understand very well. Let me tell you what that means. Let's say, uh, whenever we are creating a new record into Salesforce, we hit the save button. And when we hit the save button, there is a, there's, there's a pre-built functionality that is created already. Uh, with the help of which that record, uh, that data that you have uh, entered into that particular form gets saved into the database, right? There's a predefined functionality which Salesforce provides you, right? That's what happens. If you want to change that functionality, you cannot. But you can instead override that functionality that whenever the save button gets pressed, instead of calling the standard SFDC functionality, uh, the yeah, I mean the uh, the Salesforce platform, the force.com platform should call the functionality or the code which is written by you. This is something that you have to understand. You cannot change the standard functionality, but you can override the execution of the things, or you can override the execution of the standard functionality by adding your own functionality. And this is something that we'll understand uh, like uh, later. Uh, but yeah, this is exactly what happens. Next, it cannot be used to create a temporary file. So remember all those things that we used to do in Java for uh, uh, file systems and everything to access files and stuff like that. That's something uh, which is irrelevant in Apex. Uh, you do not actually have to do, do that and you, can act, you, you cannot also create a temporary file or something like that. And in fact, you, you don't actually need to create a file when working as a Salesforce developer. So I think it's an obsolete thing. Next, it cannot create multiple threads. Again, multi-threading was the topic that used to scare a lot of people in Java. If you are from the Java background, even if you're not, no problem. Uh, but it's nothing but uh, just execution of different, different programs at the same time where CPU is switching between different, different programs according to the allocation availability of the resources. That is what is called as multi-threading. So this is something which is not possible uh, in Apex. So you cannot do multi-threading into Apex. This is something that you need to be aware about.